What's up YouTube? In this episode I'm going to show you how to get Phoebus on your Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire game. Now in the past Phoebus was an incredibly hard Pokemon to catch. Uh, that's not how some people would put it but it was very difficult. Make sure you have a look at what the... you don't actually need to look at the time or it doesn't appear on four or six tiles anymore. It's actually really incredibly easier than it was before uh, due to the previous gen really. Uh, so you just get anywhere in the near the Weather Institute on this little surfing patch here. It goes right down, but you can go anywhere along here, and just get out your one of your rods. Um, it can be the any of the rods really. Phoebus actually has a five percent five percent chance anywhere on any tile. So it's not just a few little tiles now. Um, so it's a hell of a lot easier than uh, what it was before. Man, um, I'm just using a super rod here, so. On the Super Rod, you get Sharpedo and Kavana, and I think Sharpedo is sorry. Kavana is a 50% chance. Uh, Sharpedo is like a 10%, and Phoebus is a 5%. I think that's the uh, percentages for them. But we're going to try and find a Phoebus in this episode. Okay, got a Kavana. Now I will, uh, I will come back and do this on my. I've actually bringing a Dex Nav series too, which I've mentioned in a few of my videos. I'll have that ready this weekend to start, should be good, and just a fun little series before I get into my more serious videos, some Wi-Fi battles and such, but I'll be bringing them as uh, in the future as well. And some more after game stuff, if there's any other Pokemon you'd like me to see me catch, uh, I'll probably be covering them in the Dexnav, but I will do some of the non-Dexnav uh, Pokemon as well, just if they're a little bit different or a little bit harder to find, or I'll take a couple of... Uh, little things to do. But yeah, you can use any rod, old rod, good rod, super rod. Uh, the super rod you find in Moss Deep City if you're at the Fisherman's House, if you've already found that or you haven't found that. And uh, I'd, you can just use any of them, that's fine. Uh, with the old rod you can, whoops, with the old rod you can get, uh, I think it's just Magic Harps and uh, Phoebus, that's all the only ones you can get. Um, after you ca actually after you catch a Phoebus as well, you can just use the radar to try and find it too. So once you've caught a Pokemon, it's much easier, but initially finding it is much harder. But man, this is so much easier than the old times. What I did, uh, and just bring back some memories, back in third gen on Pokemon Sapphire, um, I was trying to find Phoebus, and like it, it would never turn up because the lake area was so large and. A person's phrase would actually change it, and, like its location tiles. I think there were six tiles or whatever, and it, it was it was hard. Like what I did was I drew, I, I went down to the shop, I got a piece of paper, like a gridded piece of paper. So each square would signify a square on the water, the waters of each, um, like the lake. Um, I, I counted the a number of squares across on the whole lake. I, I mapped. The, I use a max repel, and I mapped the whole lake out on my little grid square piece of paper. I drew it up. I had enough paper uh, to do that, so I drew the whole thing up. And I, I, I was a, I was a kid at the time, so I coloured it in blue because it was water. I mean, yeah. And <laughs> so what I did was um, then I fished in each square. I think I did it about three, three to five times in each square. And after I finished the square, I'd put a little cross in the square. And I did this for about three, two to three hours until I found it. And that's how I got my first Phoebus. But man, it was really difficult. Like, it, it, it was one of the hardest, I'd say the hardest Pokemon to catch in the game ever. So, I was a little bit disappointed that it wasn't as hard as it used to be. I mean, I can see what they're doing it for because they want to make all the Pokemon easier to catch so we don't have people complaining that it's too hard to catch and we can't get it, so you know, let's encourage people to hack the game to get the Pokemon. I, I understand that, but it also it's a little bit disappointing that it was uh, that it's much easier to catch. Also, uh, in Gen 4, it became even harder to catch. I think it was only available on four tiles, and there was many floors you could get it on in 4th Gen, so it was even crazier on then, so... Wow, yeah, that, that, was, that was... It was like our ultimate challenge getting that thing. You either had to be searching all the time or for a very long period of time or just plain lucky um, but that's what made it I believe that's what made it a challenge I, 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 that's just my opinion I could well be I could be, well be wrong there. that's the opinion I feel you know, it's good I, I, I don't believe that every Pokemon should be really easy to capture either. even 5% does turn up quite 
you know, quite often as I'll show in this video. Okay. Um, and making it on a certain amount of tiles gives the game more replay value as well. So you're going to be spending more time playing the game as well, which is good. And uh, you feel probably feel a lot more deserving getting. Anyway, that's just how I feel playing this game. Okay, uh, on the Super Rod, the levels will be a bit higher too. Uh, so Phoebus will be appearing at around level 35, uh, 30, 35. That's the level appearing. If you want him to uh, appear at a lower level, so he's a bit easier to catch. Not that he's hard to catch anyway. Uh, once you find him, uh, you can use the old, good old rod. Okay, let's see if we can get him. Kavana. What else did I want to say? There's something else. Oh yes, uh, in when the um, when the prism prism scale came out, uh, that's still around. So that's another easy way to get Milotic as well. So it's it's. Uh, they've made it. They've made the whole Phoebus Milotic thing a lot easier. Very, very easier. Um, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't really like it, but that's that's, that's how it is, I guess. Um, still, you have to find it, I guess, and it's a five percent chance. So it's not. It's it's still quite rare to find, but not rare as you're spending like six, seven hours monotonously looking through squares to find it. <laughs> Which can sometimes be a real pain in the ass, and it was, but it was a challenge. It was bloody good when you found it. It, it was a good feeling. Uh, and then, I think I remember also, once you found it in that square, like, you could just keep casting your rod and keep getting them. It was, it was very common in the square, but you had to find the square first. Yeah. Uh, that was cool. I, I like that. Let's see if we can find it. So I've been fishing for about, let's say, seven minutes now um, for it. I've missed a couple, which could have been famous, but I just want to see how quickly I can find it. Um, I, I, like I wanted to do this this one straight up with no. I didn't want to really edit parts out because I just wanted to see for myself how long it took to find my first one. Okay, I like the raining in this area too. It's very nice. Weather Institute for the win, and there's Phoebus after about seven minutes. So he appeared. Have you, did you find Phoebus a lot quicker than this? How quickly did you find him? Comment below, I want to know you, um, what's going on there. And what are your thoughts on the Phoebus becoming easier over the gens to capture? Please uh, let me know as well. Um, if your opinion is completely opposite to mine, I don't mind. Leave it in the, leave it in the comments. I, I'd like to hear some your thoughts on it. And if you're having any trouble finding Phoebus again, um, I'm pretty sure I've covered every aspect how to get it. Uh, so just pretty much go to Fortree City, then go... Um, west towards the uh, Weather Institute, I was right outside, where you get cast form, and just go straight down there, across the little bridge, and down the steps into that water there. And that was a fucking critical catch. <laughs> yes! Critical catch on the rarest Pokemon in the game. Well, it used to be the rarest Pokemon. That was pretty cool. That's Phoebus Corp. With the critical catch, too. And um, we're going to add him to the Pokedex. Very nice. Good old Phoebus. But yeah, uh, let's see if we can get another one. I'll quickly see if I can get another one fast. Um, while Phoebus' body is in tatters, it is hardly and it is hardy and a tenacious life force that enables it to live anywhere. However, this is Pokemon is also slow and dim-witted, making it an easy catch. Wow. Well, wow, I I can definitely say d they wouldn't have that Pokedex entry in Gen 3. <laughs> Everyone would be like, what the. F Anyway, that was that was quite ironic that that entry, very very ironic. Now, it, so it's it's pretty much just skin and bones like Magic Up. Um, it's like a it's just a there's a fish uh, there's a fish called a carp and it's pretty much exactly like that. See if I can find it again, or I might go radar hunting for it. We'll see if I can. Do it. But that's how you get Phoebus anyway. I hope that was easy. Uh, he doesn't require much skill to capture. Um, he's he's quite as I said, it's quite an easy Pokemon to catch. It's just finding it's the harder bit. Um, yeah, there's no specific time either. Uh, I can't think of anything. No, there's no specific times. I just went here. Um, what's the time on there? Uh, let me see the time of my game. Uh, it's about it's around the three o'clock in the afternoon kind of time. Right. Um, I haven't caught these Pokemon yet. I'll come back and do these. The rest of these guys on my Dexnas series, which I said I'll be bringing you this weekend. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that one, and you can. If you haven't done the Pokedex already, you can do it with me together. Be, be a whale of a time. A whale lot of a time. Come on. Yeah, I also used to hate it when um, you miss the fish and it's like, oh, that was probably Phoebus. And then you fish it like other oh, ten times just to make sure. Oh, man. 
Okay, let, let's let's surf around a bit, see if we can find it with a radar. Since I've already caught it, I can use the dex nav to uh, try and locate it. Now, it doesn't turn off every time you actually have to search around, but hell, it's a lot easier and you eventually will find it. Um, I'm probably going to bump into a wild Pokemon here because I've got no repels on. That's alright. Um, search. Oh, this keeps. I'm going to go a little bit forward because this area doesn't seem to have any in it at all. Okay, searching, searching. Ah! I heard a Phoebus cry then. I, heard, I think I heard one. Nope. That's just the rain. There's a Pokeball there. It's probably just... Ah, there we go. So as you can see, it's just popping up and down. Don't rush towards it. Sometimes as well, the Pokemon will dunk their head or their fin underwater and it'll just be like a little spout. And if you go on top of that, you won't actually encounter the Pokemon. You'll scare them off. That's another thing as well. Make sure you don't do that. Um, I did that as well on a rare Pokemon. And it, I was waiting for it for a good... 20 half an hour minute it's, I don't know around there uh, but that's all for this episode guys that's how you get Phoebus pretty easy pretty simple much easier compared to the other gens uh, for further walkthroughs tutorials Wi-Fi battles everything like that feel free to subscribe to my videos it might might be handy for you that's all for this video thank you for taking the time out of your day for watching my videos peace out